In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a WIP report within Acumatica. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to our lists of projects that are available to us in the system. And then we're going to want to pull up an Excel workbook and go ahead and start typing in the name of our projects here. I'm just kidding. You don't have to use Excel to create a WIP report within Acumatica. Um, that's something that comes out of the box just by default here in the list of reports in the construction module. I know for me personally, when I worked as an end user using other solutions and other software that was out there, a lot of times there was either building a WIP report from scratch in Excel or uh, exporting something that was calculated using something like crystal reports and modifying a whole bunch of formats and all of that type of stuff to get what is present here within Acumatica out of the box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and backdate this specific report so that there's some good data in here. That's one of the elements of operating in a demo environment. But typically you could see here, you could pick a specific period to run a WIP for. I'm just gonna run a, a WIP across all projects that I have in the system that meet this criteria. And you could see, voila, this produces a WIP report um, just with a couple of clicks and renders in a couple of seconds. This one, rendered data from multiple different years and you can see how responsive and quick the system is to generate these types of reports so whether it's a whip report or any of the other reports that are present here out of the box you're going to be able to run reports very quickly and easily and have access to them instantaneously as well you can see what's present here you have your contract amounts your estimated cost your commitments your actuals all in here with estimated gross profit percentage you can see how much revenue has been recognized. And then here's the good stuff, the billings in excess of cost and the cost in excess of billings. So you can use these WIP reports to actually do your WIP adjustments for your given periods. And all of that just happens out of the box within Acumatica without having to massage the data whatsoever. One of the really nice benefits of being able to look at a WIP report within Acumatica is that the data is live the way that we're looking at it right now. There's no batch posting in the system. It's all live and up to the second. And really that's one of the big negatives with calculating WIP in Excel is the second that you export that data into Excel, it becomes historical. And if something changes and there's some entries to close out the month, you either have to calculate those lines all over or start all over again. But with Acumatica, because the data in here is live and up to date, the second something changes, it'll be reflected on the WIP. And that should enable you to be able to close your prior months easier and quicker because the second that things are entered, you'll be able to render it without having to, to massage any data. A couple other things to highlight here. Within the preferences here, you could see I've mentioned this before, we have the ability to pick what periods this is gonna calculate from and actuals to period. So I can go ahead and put in a cutoff date and then render the WIP report by that cutoff date, which is really helpful for doing those adjustment entries. I also have the ability to either include the potential change orders in the revised amounts or leave that out. And I have a couple of different methodologies for cost estimation. The default here is by cost budget, which looks at the revised and current estimate of your project and does your WIP calculation based on that. But we also have the ability to do this based on cost projection. And this is something that we're seeing a lot more of in the construction industry ever since the revenue recognition rules had changed a couple of years ago. Um, companies want their project managers to go in and say what the cost at completion will be. And they want to run their WIP calculation based on that. Well, within Acumatica, you could have it that way as well. If you want to run it based on what your project manager is saying, it's gonna to take to complete that job. You can do that, incorporate it into your WIP, and then run that report with that calculation in mind. One other thing that's really nice about the WIP that's here is that you can see there's hyperlinks that are present here. And that's another big benefit over printing PDFs or uh, exporting to Excel, both of which you have the ability to do from here, by the way. And you could even send this report uh, to any parties that you would want right from here with a single click with this send button. But one of the benefits of looking at the WIP report within Acumatica is that with the hyperlinks here, you have the ability to drill in and be able to see an additional report. So this is gonna take me to a WIP detail, which is gonna show me 
really the same report, all the same columns are present here, but now this is by, by different project phase or task, if you like, by cost account group. So if I'm looking at some discrepancies in the WIP that I'm trying to investigate, I could click into a specific project and look at the cost versus revenue for a specific task and see if I how, how I'm doing in that particular area. So running Acumatica in uh, running WIP reports in Acumatica is painless and easy. It's up to the second, it's live, and it allows for you to investigate with just a couple of clicks to be able to see what's comprising the WIP that you're looking at on your screen. If you're interested in learning more about this or exploring Acumatica further, please feel free, free, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks so much.